Could a form of fasting lead to a cure for diabetes? Hello, my name is Wallace Smith and welcome to Tomorrow's World. I am not a doctor and I am not here to give doctorly advice. I saw this article in the BBC and it grabbed my attention. So often here it seems like we're talking about bad news on the Tomorrow's World uh, webcast. And here we have some good news. This is an exciting development in the scientific and medical realm. And so I just want to pass it on. Uh, this is an article from actually back in February, February 24th, 2017. The title is this, Fasting Diet, quote, Regenerates Diabetic Pancreas. Um, now it's not just any kind of fasting diet. It's a particular kind of fasting diet. Let me read some selections. It says here, the pancreas can be triggered to regenerate itself through a type of fasting diet, say U.S. researchers. Restoring the function of the organ, which helps control blood sugar levels, reversed symptoms of diabetes in animal experiments. The study, published in the journal Cell, says the diet reboots the body. Experts say the findings were, quote, potentially very exciting, as they could become a new treatment for the disease. Now, it does say people are advised not to try this without medical advice. Uh, it, what it does is they, they, they put the, vi the mice on this kind of diet. It's been developed by a researcher. If I recall, when I first heard about it, they're trying to discuss aging, trying to extend the human lifespan and, and, and health and other, other figures. And they call it the fasting mimicking diet. Uh, let me read just a little bit about it. It says it resembles a vegan diet with nuts and soups but with around 800 to 1100 calories a day. Now that's not all the time, that's for a brief period, like say for five days. It says then they have 25 days eating what they want. So it, overall it mimics periods of feast and famine. Now it says anything you want. I'm sure if you just go out and eat you know, a bucket of chicken fat, you know, you're not gonna do well. In fact, even the Bible says you're not gonna do well. But essentially what you've got is 25 days of normal eating, but then five days of this particular quasi-fast where you really restrict uh, your intake, uh, and it's called sort of a fasting mimicking. And some scientists believe that a cycle like that helps to mimic what we were designed for. You know, we live in the opulent West, at least I do, and in so many places in the world we're in conditions that mankind has not really known for centuries, if not millennia, where if I want something to eat, I can just go to Walmart and I can get it. And yet there were times of feast and famine. There were cycles where food wasn't always plenty. And if that's what we were designed for, some of the theories behind this work is that maybe we should still eat that way. Maybe, it, maybe there's benefits to that. And in this particular case, they're finding, at least in mice, that where well, you have diabetes uh, and it's destroyed part of your pancreas, that this fasting approach, this type of diet, has the potential, again, I don't know if it's going to work out, but it has the potential, at least in these mice, it is happening, it's regrowing uh, part of their pancreas. They're getting function again that they didn't have. You know, I've known several people with diabetes in my life, uh, good close friends, and it is a, it's difficult, you know, where uh, you get a sickness or an illness or a virus all of a sudden that damages your pancreas, and next thing you know, you're diabetic and you're having to face insulin shots every day and, and this completely different way of life and it's so difficult. And the idea that we're discovering that even apart from medicine and the rest, that maybe there's an approach to life that we can live that can actually restore that. That's one of the things I love about modern, uh, uh, I say modern medicine, you don't always see this in all areas of modern medicine, but at least in this day and age, I've seen a few signs that really seem to focus on how can we learn to help the body fix itself. Uh, the Bible says that we're fearfully and wonderfully made, and it seems more and more we're discovering that God has made our bodies not just amazing but robust, uh, that there's, there's, they're capable of doing more than we thought they could. Um, anyway, I just think it's exciting news, and let's, let's praise God for these amazing bodies that He's given us that have the potential to do so much. And it does make me look forward to the coming kingdom of God when Jesus Christ will be reigning on earth. Uh, His glorified saints will be assisting Him, helping mankind, and just unlocking so many of the mysteries of the beautiful design that He has made. And so many of these things that damage us begin to be repaired. Uh, let's be grateful for some good news, and hopefully this research will continue to bear fruit. Thanks for watching. Please check out everything we have available at tomorrowsworld.org.